Hi, this is Aaron at thinkbotlabs.com and welcome back. In this two-part series we're going to set up our game to enable saving and loading player data. The first thing we need to do is add a save button to the in-game menu and wire it up. So let's go to our UI and enable our menu UI and then go to our pause window and let's focus on that. Okay, and let's add a new button and we can just duplicate one. So it's going to duplicate the resume button. I'm just going to name this save button. And we need to reposition it. Let's change the text on it too. Let's call it save. All right, so the resume button, let's move it up. Save button. Move it down. I'll just have to move all these out a little bit. That uh, looks good. I'll fix this option text. So now that we have the save button on here, we need to create a script to allow us to save. So let's do that. Under our scripts, let's create a new one, C Sharp, and let's name it uh, Save Load Data. Save Load Data. Okay, let's open it up. Alright, so for saving our data, we're going to be serializing our data and then saving it out to the file system. So we need a couple more using statements. First one we need is a using system.io. This is going to enable us to um, create files and directories on our file system. We need a system, oops, using system.runtime dot serialization dot formatters dot binary and this is going to enable us to actually save the data out and that's all serialization means that's the process of writing data out and writing data back in so we need to save our data so public void save and this is what we're going to wire up to our button okay in our save um, we, first thing we need to do, we need to create a directory um, where we're going to store that data. So directory dot create directory and that path is going to be in our application dot data path and so this is the root um, directory of where your application lives which is in the, like I said, the root directory of your um, game. You have assets build, and we're going to create a new directory inside of here. So application .data path plus we're going to create a folder, and that folder is going to be called saved games. And just to be safe, let's check and make sure this directory exists before we try to create it. So we'll say if directory dot exists application .data path plus saved games and that's just a little safety net to make sure that we're not creating uh, duplicate directories. Uh, next thing we need, we need our binary formatter and we're just going to name this BF is equal to new binary formatter and remember the binary formatter is just the process of serializing data. And then file stream fs is equal to file and this is where we're going to create our actual file that we're saving data in. Dot create and we're going to put it in our saved game so application dot data path plus quote saved games 
and we need a name for this uh, file. So let's call this save.rd and you can give it whatever extension that you want. All right, so now we need to put data in this file, um, serialized data that is. And to do that, we're going to create a helper class um, to act as the middleman in this process. So, and it has to be serialized, so system dot serializable and we're going to call this uh, class save manager so we are able to save a lot of data um, via serialization um, there are some limitations um, I'll put a link in the description to the unity docs on what those limitations are but for now let's just capture the player's current level. That way we'll be able to load back into that level and then um, save that level as well. So public int current level. Now to set this current level's value, let's open up the game manager and create a quick uh, method to allow us to get data. So in our game manager, we're going to add a couple of things. We're going to say that our um, game manager is public static game manager and we're just going to call this GM and then on, on awake void awake we'll say that GM is equal to this so our method or our function is going to be public int get current level and here we're just going to return the current level so return scene manager dot get active scene dot build index and our build index can be found at file build settings and so here are our indexes of our scenes so it's zero one two and so when we get our current active scene it's going to be zero one or two the integer that we're returning and right below the file stream Let's go ahead and create a new object of the save manager. So save manager is equal to new save manager. And then save manager dot current level, which is the int down here, is equal to game manager dot gm dot get current level. And now that we set our current level to what our build index is, we need to go ahead and write that out to the file. So through our binary formatter, bf dot serialize, and it's asking for our serialization stream, which is our file stream, so fs, and then what we're saving, which is our save manager. So right after the current level that we're currently getting from the game manager we can add a lot more items that we want to put into our save manager so if we want the player's name if we want his, how many switches he's activated um, how much health he has we can all put that in here and then that'll just be retrieved in the save manager to write out into the file and then after we write it out to the file we always have to make sure that we close the file stream Alright, go ahead and save both these guys. Let's go back into Unity. Let it compile for a minute. Let's attach the save manager onto the game manager. That'll be fine. It doesn't really matter where it's located as long as we can access it and then attach it to our save button. So save load data right here on the game manager. Then on the save button, I'm going to grab the game manager which it's already attached. And then we're going to go to save load data and then save. All right, so let's go ahead and disable the menu and let's run through it real quick and see if we can have a folder created in here and have some data populated in it. Before we do so, let's debug a line in here that says, hey, you saved your game. Another thing that we can do, we can create some text on top of the um, menu or create a model pop-up window that says, hey player, you've saved your game, um, hooray for you. 
but for right now let's just debug it so debug dot log game saved All right, let's go back in here and let's disable the menu UI and let's play it and have a look. All right, hit escape, press save. We got a notification that we have saved our game. All right, now you can see that we have the new folder created. It's called saved games. Inside of it, we have a file if we go look back in our project, and it's actually under assets, we have a folder called saved games. And here it is, save.rd. All right, so perfect. Now we have a file that we can um, save data to and read data from. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll look at loading up saved games. We'll actually be creating a new main menu where we can say um, new game, load game, and a couple other options. All right, great. So that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then.